Hey, what's up? It's Chance, man. I just want to say rest in power to the King of Pop. You know, you were a friend to everybody. The whole community took a loss, man. But we're not going to sit here and cry. We're sitting there having a good time, smoking in your name. Rest in peace. Hail to the King. Hey, what do you got to say about KLP? I am so glad you guys scooped him up. I was like, I like he is in good hands. I told his dad. He's in good hands. You don't have to worry about your son at all. He's all taken care of. I treated him like he was. Was, he would always greet me. He'd say, oh, my brother from another mother. How you doing, Scotty? He'd give me a big hug and a big kiss. You know, KOP was the closest I've ever had to a brother in my life. But to kind of sum up who KOP is, I, was, I wasn't his only brother. There are so many of his brothers here today. Like, there were so many of us that he treated, he considered brothers to him. And that's why we're here today. We're here to say goodbye to our brother. We had a great goodbye for him yesterday. This is for him. I didn't hear what he said because he lowered his It's for you, KLB. You know? We're going to miss you, bro. He knew me for three days and helped me get through a real difficult medical situation and opened up his home to me for an extended period of time. No, polo. He's just his family and it's going to really suck without him around. I'm a cool water man myself. So what do you have to say about KLP? He was the man. He had me work at his tables. Whenever he had events, the main medical marijuana me. He uh, rally, stood for everything that we stand for. But he was the voice of him. We celebrated our Italian heritage together. Uh, oftentimes I always talk to, found myself talking about that with him. And um, I know he's here today. And uh, it's just wonderful that so many people can uh, be here in honor and in memory of Michael. Thank you. Shout out to the KOP. Um, real good dude. Me and him butted heads a lot over certain things, but you know he always respected me. I always respected him. Um, and that's really that's that's some real shit because. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were talking about it after the Freedom Rally because uh, I shot a scene with KOP for my movie, and, and, and we were watching the scene. And me and my cousin got into a conversation about him. How, even though I feel a certain way about certain things in the in the marijuana industry, he didn't care. He didn't judge judge me against that for me speaking my mind. And I love when I heard the news that you, that the people on Facebook. Why I was mourning my friend, why I couldn't be on Facebook, why I couldn't organize anything. You guys had already decided to name it Mom Michael of Malta, to change the name. You guys had already decided to have your own event here today. I love it. I just want to give everyone a hand from Boston for doing that for Michael Malta. He's our best yeah. friend. And I did this at the service yesterday. I know some of you big king of pot. He's done so much for us. I, I've heard so many stories this week. I did, we did this at the, the service yesterday, and I was amazed at how many hands went up. How many people have gotten picked up for a ride by KLP when you needed it? He gave you money for your project. He gave promotion to your project. He talked to you. He inspired you. He, he gave you that little spark that you needed when you needed it. How many of you? Because he did it to me. So keep like, my hand up there. Day. Yeah. And that's what made KLP special. You know, it's how he made us feel. It's what he did for us. And, and that's what I want to see live on with all of us. Inside of me, I'm always like, I want to be like King of Pot. How can I be more like him? That's that's what we have to keep going. This is the only thing that's keeping me going. We have his family here today. Valerie Maltis, he has wife. Val, do you want to come up and say something? Her kids, his kids are here. I saw it. There they are. Girl, girls want to come up? Come on up. Come on. Jackie will come. Woo! All of this in one piece, so all of your support has really helped us a lot, even though this is probably the hardest thing we're ever going to have to go through, but to know we have all you guys and you're supporting us really helps, and my dad would be really proud of everything you did yesterday, really, really, he went over to bang because of you guys, so I want you guys to... And you know, the King of Pot took his name from uh, the Prince of Pot, Mark Emery. And he always wanted to get their acknowledgement from Jody and Mark, and he became really good friends with Jody over the last couple of years. And he's always talked to Mark Emery, 
He's always supported him. But I know that Mark Emery, with his loss, with, with the Campot's loss, know, knows all about the Campot. They sent us a, a message that they were even offering money <coughs> and support for the funeral for the family. And I know that he'd be very happy that the Prince of Pot, who's serving time in jail, who needs money, is offering to send money to the King of Pot. Wow. Wow, that's and I think that, again, this is, this is, he wanted certain things to happen, and they're happening. High Times is called, Relief Magazine, is, they're telling me they're going to do a cover magazine on him. He was in the Weekly Dig. He was buried with his Blunt Truth Dig column. I mean, he, he got a lot of the things he wanted to see happen. They were happening right now, and they've happened even more since he's passed, so I'm very happy about that. There's other people here who definitely should be up here to speak about it. I know Dexter's here, <laughs> so why don't we bring him up? Well, I just want to... Oh, man. Dex, let's hear it for Dex. Yeah. Yeah. Dexter! I do want to point out that uh, I believe it was Keith Saunders who initiated the change from Mount Mary Jane to Mount Michael Malta. Um, and, and Normal is having their convention in New York this weekend. So there's a lot of people from High Times and a lot of people from Normal that couldn't make it because they're at their convention. But this is taking place in the High Times office and at 420, along with us. Yeah. Right up in the High Times office in honor of Michael Balta, uh, King of Pop. Awesome. There's really a million things that, that you could go on and on. The stories of this man just don't end, you know. <laughs> Everybody here has got a picture with him. Everybody here has got a story with him. Probably cried with the man. Uh, I'm certain laughed with the man. Um, and it's it's going to be quieter in the place now. But this place is always a hit. And this place is always popping. And there are always people here. And they're all friends. And uh, this place carries with it a lot of love. And that name carries so much love that this is, this is, a, this is a fantastic thing. I keep saying it to everybody. But if you had gone up to Michael and you had told him that... When he was gone, that this was going to happen, he, he wouldn't have believed it. First, he wouldn't have believed yeah. it. Then he would have laughed in your face and thrown his arms up yeah. and walked away a little bit. <laughs> then he'd have come back and cried and fell on his knees. And then he'd have walked around and told everybody how much he loved them. Yeah. yeah. And that's what this spot is. It's people come here to get over a bad day. People come here to enjoy the nice weather. People come here to get high without being persecuted. This is a place of civil disobedience. Before this was all what it is today on a legal market or on a medical market. And that stuff's very important to Michael, and this place is very important to Michael, and this is a good thing. So I'm glad that this is happening. I'm glad you guys are all here. KLP! 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 I also want to bring up uh, his good friend Rich Fu. Rich Fu had a radio show with, with, the, with the King of Party Stop, his radio studio for him. He's a good friend of his. Yes. Thank you. Um, you know, it, it's a rare thing you get to meet somebody like the KOP. The idea that I, I, I'll never forget is that the thing he stood mostly for was integrity and honor. And that's why you see these people here today. Now, the idea is whether you knew him or not is irrelevant. What he stood for made it relevant for everybody in the world and what we all need to be, what we all can only hope to be. You know, a man of such honor and integrity. And that's what this place is all about. Because when everybody always gathered here, you know, whether you had a tip with this person or that person, everybody felt welcome either way. And that's the way it should be. And that's what he wants more than anything out of this world. And to see so many people here smiling together and just being happy. So anytime you come here, bring your friends here and enjoy the time here, just remember that. And just pass that message on. And don't let that message ever fade. That integrity and honor, that's everything in this world. That's it. Thank you, Foo. Yeah. Foo. Yeah, Foo. Yeah. Who's next? <laughs> Who's next? Bobby Don? We got two and a half minutes. Can you count down? I just wanted to say, I mean, when it came to Michael, he was like a father to me. I mean. Every person that knows me personally knows how close him and I were. I mean, I even called him the Sicilian dad I never had, and I know he Same. loves me. I, mean, he know, I know he knew that I'm put here for a reason, and that's the same reason all you guys are here, to spread the message of this herb and its healing power. And I know that he would be so happy to see so many smiling faces and just so much good energy here today. I mean, it's been a really rough week, but you can definitely expect to see a full story about him. I mean, we were supposed to do it a while ago, 
he loved the magazine and everything that we stand for. You can find us at www.relief.co. Probably gonna have it done within the next two months. I mean, make sure I get pictures from Valerie. If you guys wanna submit photos of yourself, let's try and get them in there. I mean, let's do it. I love him, I love all you guys. Thank you all for coming. I mean, I love you, Valerie. I love them all so much. Thank you all so much. You fucking love it. Get over here, you guys. Woo! Who's next? Blake, why don't you come out there, Blake? I got nothing really to say. It's just speechless. I'm around DJ Slim and Gase come up here together. Oh, yeah. Come on, Blake. Come on, Blake. We got, we got one minute. To there you go. Let's go. There you go. I'm too fat to stand up. No, you can. You got to stand. Be out. Be out. Bottom line, I got a lot of... was one of the coolest people who I can call a friend. Okay, there's not too many people out here that you can call a friend, someone that you can call and trust and rely on. You know what I'm saying? He was that person. And if you ever knew him, you know he touched you in that way. Thank you. Uh, basically, this 420 we dedicate to the KOP. If you have any weed in your possession, any dabs, any hash, anything, light it up at exactly 420 to show KOP how much we really love him and will always love him and be here for his wife, Valerie, forever, all right? Everybody here, I love you. Everybody smoke up your shit. It's almost 420 for the KOP. KOP, go ahead. We love you, KOP. All right, we got 20 seconds. Yeah. 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy 420, KOP! 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 KLP 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 Thank you bro Yeah Thank you everyone I just want to get out Just get up so they can hear you Come on Hey everyone, why are you lighting up? This is Michael's wife. This is the Campot's wife. The Queen! The Queen! The Queen of Pots! Let's hear it again. One more time. The Queen of Pots! Yeah! How you doing? We love you guys! The love is what's going to get me through this. The love that I get from you people, it's, I can feel the love. And it's making a big difference and it's really helping me a lot. So, so we got blood for sale. I cannot thank you enough. Yeah. So God, I need to buy it. I love you all. We love you, Val! We love you, This moment. I KOP wanted to build a family. He did. Yes. He wanted to yep. bridge a lot of gaps. Yep. Let's yeah. let those gaps fighting. be fucking bridged. That's right. Let's all come together and keep the KOP family together. Yeah! There's KLB, nothing more what's that carving his name in a bed or having a million Facebook posts. There's nothing he would want it more than to bring us all <laughs> together and keep us together. You're here. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Let's put all the bullshit he aside. He hugged the shit out of all of you. All the That's bullshit. That's right. Let's put all the bullshit aside. KOP was not about bullshit. He was about business. Bringing families together. Bringing that people together. Even though it's hard, we have to try. Let me get Get along microphone. with each other. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, we don't want to be here saying, Bro. oh, let's do this for the next person. Let's do it for the king of pot now. Yeah! Mount Michael Malta. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
love and connection these people, us, this family is experiencing through his death. I know he would be smiling down so much right now. He was a man who didn't judge a person for anything and gave everybody a fair chance and he opened his arms to me when I was 21 and just exploring all of this and he didn't care about my past, his past, anyone's. It was, he was a one of a kind guy and he would be missed forever. Yeah. I'm his first artist. Hey, how do you guys know the King of Pods? Do you guys mind being recorded or? Yeah. Do you like being recorded? I'd be happy to be recording. I started uh, shooting and editing videos for the King of Pot back in 2009. And uh, what's your name? Andrew Hutchison. Oh, okay. And uh, I have for you know, several years since uh, a lot of people we work with work with him. He's touched my life in innumerable ways, and uh, I wouldn't be here and believe in what I believe in if he hadn't been there. Yeah. So, Thank you. I love him. My can. Thank you so much for everything you do, everything you do for KOP, everybody out here, it's a great turnout. Um, just a couple things I guess I gotta say about KOP is if it wasn't for him, and you as well, there really would be no me in the movement. You know, Suffolk University Normal really got off the, the ground because of you and KOP, and getting us on YouTube, and really getting us in the media, and MikeHand.net, really getting us in newspapers in the, in the dig in Boston. And, we really, uh, and myself personally, we couldn't be more grateful for you guys. And, and again, if it wasn't for the both of you yeah, combined together, just I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be involved in the past seven years. So thank you. Much appreciate it. Mike was my friend. Mike is my friend. He'll always be my friend. Um, you know, and he was one of those people who was never afraid to show his friendship. You know, to show his support to everybody and encourage everybody. To always be positive, always look forward, not backwards, never hold a grudge. So he loved his family. He loved his friends, he gave up himself unselfishly. I think he set an amazing example and the greatest thing we could do is to continue that tradition and follow that example. And I never forget that. We should all, we should all have that. KLP! 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 Right here. <laughs> <laughs> is it me or is it hanging out? Hanging with the kid. <laughs> he knows it's for him, it's staying. <laughs> KOP never gave me shit. For, like a lot of people, like Mike Can, give me a lot of shit. But KOP never really gave me shit for what I had to say. But, uh, you know, rest in peace, KOP. I came out to show him love. So, you know, see a green, he'll be in it. So I dedicate the movie to him, dedicate the movie to my dog Riley. And that's that. I'll see you soon. My favorite thing about KOP is uh, he taught you as who you were. It didn't matter like uh, what was going on, what project you were on. He was there. He, he was talking. He always talked to who you were, and uh, I loved him from that. Why do you think KOP was effective in his activism? <sighs> KOP was extremely. <laughs> Genuine and everybody could feel it. it. Didn't matter whether you were a smoker, a non-smoker, a cop. He could just relate to you, and he would just come up and talk to you, and he was like so open with you. <laughs> and you loved him right away, no matter who you were. He had a special quality. It's hard to find that because a lot of people. It's very important to be active, and a lot of people are active. But is everybody radiating love when they're dealing with everybody? Even cops is everybody sitting there trying to make it easy for everybody and keep things clean, keep things cool. And like he was always that person, so he was more effective than anybody else doing just as much work because what he did mattered, and that's why all this is happening because everything he did mattered more because he did it with love, his passion. Do you have any final words for KLP? Thank you.
everything, everything, everything. <laughs> I'm still, I honestly can't find words that will do justice to the King of Pawn. Um, as soon as I met him, he became like my biggest fan. Uh, as I was going against, you know, federal tyrannies, whether it's TSA checkpoints and subways, unconstitutional searches, the Federal Reserve System. He's just always very encouraging and, 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 and kind of gave you that push real hard too in a lot of ways. And he was, you know, was willing to throw down a lot of things like, hey, let me buy you a thousand flyers. You need this, you need that, tell me, whatever you need. But we've also developed a very close, you know, talking personal relationship and it's just, it's devastating because we, we had a lot of stuff we were all working on with him and myself included. And I don't even know what to say except he was just the most fucking amazing person I've ever met in my life. Long live the king of pot. Comes for you, KOP. You know we're out here, and look what we did for you. Know, this is, <coughs> all these people are out here honoring your memory, and that's what it's about. You know, um, <clears throat> you know, people like you are the reason why you know we can be out here like this right now. For you know, people like KOP who had a big heart. It was a total loss to our community. I want to get total it. loss. And he was very generous and touched all of us. He's just a really great guy. The whole world's gonna miss him. And I just want to rededicate myself to activism for his sake because uh, he did so much and he inspired me so much in the short time that I knew him. And I'm gonna miss his hugs. And yeah, he was awesome. And uh, it was a great loss. We don't live in the 1930s propaganda. That marijuana is addictive and you smoke it, you go crazy. Get off the watch, Reefer Madness. Yeah. Get off the Reefer Madness, Cheryl Bartlett. KOP's coming to Rhode Island with my crew.